Assalamu alaikum dear students. In the series of learning C programming, we are discussing structures in C. In the previous video, we have discussed how to declare the variables of the structure. Or we can say how to declare the objects of the structure. That all have been discussed in previous video with the help of the example. And from today, or we can say in today's video, we are going to discuss how to initialize the objects of the structure. That means how to assign the values to the structure members. That will be discussed in today's video with the help of the example. Because we have learned structure CS. So, the point of video is that we have declared the variables of the structure declare karan, or objects of the structure declare karan. So, in this video, we have learned the initialization of structure structure members. Gasan. Initialization of the structure members is gasan chai, ya usmano. तो उस कित कित ची वैल्यूज एसाइन करा स्ट्रक्चर मेंबर्स स्ट्रक्चर के मेंबर हैं सीएस में डेट यू बी डिस्कसिंग इन टुडे वीडियो विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एग्जांपल सो लेट अस सिट आउट फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल वी विल टेक द सेम एग्जांपल डेट वी हैव टेक वी हैव वी हैव डिस्कसिंग इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर एग्जांपल the name of the structure and int rule number kya name float marks and that is it here I have declared a structure by name student which contains three members, rule number of type integer, name of the key and mox flow type. Now, as I have already discussed in the previous video, how to declare the structure variables. There are two ways for declaring the structure variable. First, we can declare inside this here also the structure because the variables of the structure, the objects of the structure. And second way is we can declare outside this body of the structure. We can also declare the variables of structure outside the body of the structure such as white man here subtract student s s man. By this declaration by this declaration I have created the structure Variables of the structure. That means subtract student. What is subtract student? Actually, subtract student is the user defining data structure. Structure. Name of the structure. We should take it in mind that both subtract student is the name of the structure. Sometimes you write only subtract. Subtract S1. Subtract and omit is distract student. That is not a Good, that is wrong, that is wrong. So, subtract the student, S1. S1 is the name of the variable, name of the object of structure, student. Okay, with that we have discussed it in the previous video. But now the question is how we can initialize the objects. How we can initialize the objects of the structure. Normally, if this declaration tells the compiler that int is the variable of type is the variable of whose data type is int for whose data type is structure and normally we initialize this by this but here we cannot initialize we cannot initialize the structure members just like if if we initialize this by three it is wrong we cannot these are structure members here directly we cannot initialize the structure members we can initialize the structure members through their objects. Yet in Hakuna directly, Hakuna says that structure member initialize kirit ki hain. Usha ko yin initialize kirit with the help of the through their objects. Because we know that the structure, it is only a template. Whenever we declare the structure, no memory has been allocated by the memory manager. Yet the kuhun memory is allocated as asan gamut ki hain as kuhun memory is asan. तो अवस्थी उस चाकू में तक उसको हम डाटा स्टोर करें। तो वैन अवर 
these structures, these uh, objects of the structures are declared, created, the memory are going to be allocated. Time structure, structure, memory allocate gasan. Time khatr, time is structure object khatr. Go S1 khatr gay memory allocate. Here, I declare the structure student. You can declare a variable, or you can say objects of the structure, sit S1. And in the memory, what will happen? The memory will be allocated for this S1. And here, this S1 contains these three members, rule number, take care, marks, and name. Now I can initialize these members. How I can, we can initialize the structure member? First, this is one way of initializing. Runtime, this is a, sorry, this is a compile time initialization. And runtime initialization, we will also discuss that in previous, in next videos. Here, subtract student S1. S1 is the variable, or you can say it is an object of this student type, subtract student type. Here you S1 to an object, so if we can take value, how we can assign the values to this, these members. We can assign the member values to the structure members through their objects, by using objects. Because whenever objects are going to be created, the memory is going to be allocated by the memory manager. If the object create the declare the same, then the memory allocate the memory manager. Otherwise, if you have declared the structure, it is only a temporary, no memory has been allo allocated until and unless the objects will be get created. So S1 equality, for example, 1, 12, comma, Yusuf, comma, 90. This is a compile time, sorry, this is a compile time initialization. Yes, compile time initialization. Here, the roll number, first roll number is 12, name is Yusuf, And marks is 90. We can initialize the structure members. We can initialize the structure members by this way. By this option. This is one option of initializing the structure members. So, but while we are going to initialize the structure, structure members, there are some rules which we should follow. There are rules in such a structure member initialize karo. The team rule just follow curry. For example, this order should match. First, here rule number, here must be a rule number. Then second is name, here must be a name. And third is marks, here must be a box. That means this order should match. For example, if I write here, for example, if I write here, Yusuf, and then I write here 20. 20. Sorry, just a minute. If I write here, use first, then I write rule number, and then 90 marks. What does it mean? It will show me some undefined behavior, or you can say it, it, it may show me error. Because the first, here the first variable, first member, is expecting integer value. But I am going to provide it a character value. Or you can say citrine value. So it's the mismatch of these members. The ordering. Mismatch ordering. So it will swim in ever. So while we are going to initialize the values, initialize the structure members, we should take care that the order must be matched. There must be no mismatch of orders. Order must be same. If there is first rule number, then there must be a rule number. Then name, here must be a name. And then marks, here must be a marks. Okay, first rule is this. Second rule that we should follow, for example, if I subtract a student S1, tick, okay, if I here declare more, rule number 12 and nothing else. Here, I have initialized only the one member. Here, I have initialized only the first member, that is the rule number. I have assigned the value to rule number, this. And rest of the members, what are the name and marks? They are blank. No value has been assigned by me for these two members. For two, these two variables, that is name and marks. Then what will? The 
compile will automatically by default the compile will by default the compile will store there null null and zero that means in name there would be null and in marks there would be 0, 0.0 it is called a partial initialization In case of partial initialization, in case of partial initialization, that means if we initialize only the first member of the structure, the, in the rest of the members, the compile by default, the compile will store null for care and string. String and null. Null for care and string. If I have declared here care, the compile will store here null. Or if I have declared this member as string, it will store null. And 0.0, .0 for float. 0, 0.0 for float. Okay. So, we should take care of these things. While we are going to initialize the, the structure members. Third. Now, this is one way of initializing them. For example, I have declared here only one variable. I can also declare here variables as one. For example, this is S2, S1. I can declare here inside the body of this structure, I can declare the objects of the variable as well. And I can also initialize these variables. I can declare as well as initialize the variables of this structure inside the body. For example, S1 equal to It was S2. For example, it is S2. S, now it is S2. S1 equal to 30. Rashid. And 65 marks. Now, what will happen in the memory? In the memory, the separate memory will be allocated for this object, the S1, with three data members, with three members, First one is the rule number, second one is the name, and third one is the marks. And, uh, and in the set similarly, 30 will be assigned to this rule number, Rashid will be assigned to name, and 65 is the marks. And I, I can also initialize, if here, if I initialize one more variable here, S3 equal to, for example, uh, 20, Bashir, and 50. It would be wrong. Because I have declared this S3 after the semicolon. Now, this S3 does not belong to this structure. This S1, this S3, this object does not belong to this. Because I have declared and initialize it after this semicolon. So it is wrong. It is wrong. I can initialize, I can declare or uh, initialize the objects here as well. Here, for example, here I can, but by writing their full name, subtract student s3 equal to, for example, 35 is rule number. Bashir is the name. And 50 is the marks. Now, it is okay. This means that I can initialize the objects of the variable inside this body of the subject or in the man or outside the body of the object. I can initialize the, in, of the initialize and declare the objects of this at any time, anywhere in the structure. Quinti jai hat by initialize correct. But if I Declare this outside this body of the that it is mandatory to write the full name, subtract student, name of this student, the data type. Actually, subtract student is the data type. It is user defined data type. We have to take care of these things while we are going to discuss, while we are going to declare and initialize the objects of the structure. Okay. We cannot initialize here directly. Here we cannot initialize rule number equal to 60. It is wrong. We cannot initialize here directly. We cannot initialize the members of the structure. We can initialize the members of the structure through their 
objects because whenever objects are going to be created, the memory is allocated by the memory manager. Okay. Third, that is separate memory has been allocated for this and same similarly separate S3. For this S3, the same memory will be allocated for this S3. 35 for rule number, for example, Bashir for name and 50 for, and 50 marks. Inside, the memory will be allocated by the memory like this. I hope now that you have now understood how to initialize, how to initialize the members of the structure, or you can say, compile the initialization of the structure. We can also write this as well, take care. We separate can delete it, for example, take care. Why the man, in the man function, for example, subtract student S1 equal to rule number 12, name Yusuf and marks 90. I can also write Subtract student S2 equal to S1. This means that, this means that, that is a copying. The S1, the object S1 is copied to S2. Here I have created an object, I have declared an object S2. And S1 is going to be copied to S1. The values of S1, what are the values of S1? In the memory, what will happen? This is the memory allocated by the memory manager for this S1, for example. S1 is the memory I allocate karna. Okay. Here is the name. It's a rule number. And these are the marks. Okay, we got three members. Name is here, Yusuf. 12 is rule number and 19 marks. What will happen by this declaration, by this statement? Here, under variable, another variable I can make, say, under object will get created by name S2 and it will contain this information, all this information, that means it will contain rule number, it will contain name and marks. What will happen? S1 will get copied to S2, that means now in rule number, there will be 12. In name, there will be Yusuf. Same data. And in marks, 90. We can also copy the objects of the variables. But we can copy objects of... But we cannot compare. We cannot compare the members of their objects individually. We can individually compare the objects. If, for example, if... But like if S1 equal to, sorry, <coughs> for example, but like if, if S1 equal to, equal to S2, then print at high, that is it. For example, Agar me look, agar asa S1 equal to S2, that means if S1, what is S1? Yusuf 12, 12, S1, that means the data, the, the information that is present in S1 is equal to, is the same as that of the S2, as that of the S2. It is not possible, it is not possible, we cannot compare the structure objects, we cannot compare the structure Objects. We have to compare them. Compare them. But we can compare the members of the structure. We can compare the members of the structure. We have to compare the structure. We have to compare the structure. We have to compare the structure. We have to the structure. We have to compare the structure. We have to compare the structure. We have to 
बट वी कैन कंपेयर द मेंबर्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर दैट मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं देखना एफ एस वन डॉट रूल नंबर इक्वल टू एस टू डॉट रूल नंबर प्रिंट एफ हाई दैट इज इट इज पॉसिबल We can compare the individual members. For example, you roll number, you roll number, yes, roll number. We compare it. The name, yes, name. We compare it. The marks, yes, marks. We compare it. But if I can show you object, I have to compare it. Okay, that is not possible in this comparison. We can say the relational operators. We cannot perform the relational oper operations on these structure uh, objects. Objects of structure, but we can compare the members of these objects. We say, "Oh, member structure." We say, "Oh, is compared with individual members," but we cannot compare the whole structure. Okay, okay. We have to take care of these things while we are performing the while we are using the structures. Third one, you see, I brought one more. Get this? Now we say, "What can we do?" S one equal to S two. That means the all uh, the you know, S two. Equal to S one. What can it be? Create, subtract. So two would end. S two equal to S one. That means uh, here I have created another variable S two, and the values of S one are copied to S two. You mean S two S one? Something we copy? Can we S two? It is possible, but structure the objects are the same structure. अगर इन बच्चे तो स्ट्रक्चर स्टूडेंट आप बार एंटी बने में जो ऑब्जेक्ट आप बनो एस वन डाक बनो एस टू आई थिंक ये पॉसिबिलिटी है सेको कॉपी करें और सेको ये नहीं कॉपी करें मगर आप वी कैन नॉट कॉपी द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं आपसे डाक स्ट्रक्चर स्टूडेंट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई हैव अंदर आई हैव अंदर स्ट्रक्चर बाय नेम एस स्टूडेंट ये एम्प्लॉय इज इट इज अ स्ट्रक्चर एम स्टूडेंट एंड इफ आई हैव अनदर Structure by name employee. We cannot copy the objects of their employee to their these objects of this student. Then such a one is created to copy. Can in such different structure in that sense. In such same structure in object that sense. Then such a one is copy. Can I think make sense? We have to take care of these things while using the structures. Okay. Third. Now the now I hope that you are not familiar how to initialize the members of the structure. It's a compile time. And similarly, we can uh, initialize the members of the structure at runtime as well by using the printf and scanf um, functions. We have a printf and scanf function for this. Well, for example, it can be done by using it. Take care. For example, here for S1, I have created here the S1. Now I want to initialize it at the runtime. But for example, printf. And that information of S one. Okay, scan up. I say I'm going to scan up. First, I have to enter the rule number. What's the rule number? Rule number. The formula specified for rule number is percentage D. And now I cannot write directly here rule number. I have to write directly like rule number. Okay, it is wrong. I can write here first. The object name. What is the object name? S one. Then dot operator. Then dot operator. And then the structure member name. That is rule number. That is. That means I can initialize the members of the objects at runtime by using this dot operator. The dot operator is used to create. This actually what this dot operator does. It Links this. It combines the object name with the member name. What is object name? Object name is S one. What is the member name? Member name is rule number. So by using this dot operator, we can initialize the members of the object at runtime. And similarly, we can also initialize the kind of percentage. What is kya? It is S string type. I can write here percentage S. Directly, sorry. Percentage S and then name. No need to write here. Sorry, here is address specifier. 
Okay, no, this is the address of operator. No need to write here the address of operator. And in the same way, I can initialize this percentage as s1.nam. Sorry, s1.nam. Percentage as no, then it is a float percentage f. Percentage f. Address of operator s1. <coughs> dot mox and that's it. This is the com this is the compiled time initialization of this structure members. Now I hope that you have now understood how to initialize the structure members both at runtime as well as at the compiled time. In the runtime we can initialize we can initialize the members of the structure by using the dot operator. That means structure first we have to write here variable name or you can say object name then dot operator then followed by the this um, what so called member name structure member name here also address of s1 dot rule number here also address name in sitting in sitting no need to write this address of operator and in float point here box i have write it address of s1 dot box now i hope that you have now understood how to initialize these structure members both at runtime and at the compile time. And we can initialize these members. Here I can declare here one member, two, three, four, whatsoever. But when we have are needed more variables, for example, 60 variables, 30 variables, at that time we use the array. Inshallah, that will, be that, that will be discussed, how to use the arrays in structures, or you can say uh, array of structures, that will be discussed, Inshallah, in the next video. Till next video, take care. Bye-bye.